So there are some of the major features that have been introduced into Live 9 by Ableton. Um, other big features are that Max for Life is now included in the Live Suite. So you get many hundreds of new effects by the Max developers. There are a couple of minor tweaks. We can see there is a drop down menu here which uh, can toggle on and off the MIDI arrangement overdub and the edit MIDI map and edit key map which you also have here are duplicated in that drop down menu. Um, some keyboard shortcuts have been added. One of my favorite ones is just clicking on B or highlight the draw tool. Toggle that on and off, very simple but very useful. And one feature which I really like, if I quickly record in a little bit of audio, I'll stop the audio and switch over to the arrangement view. Now, first of all, I must explain these three arrows here. Now, I think these are the replacement for the back to arrangement view. But interestingly, even if you go into the info box here, these have remained unexplained for now. Now the, the omission of the back to arrangement button in the session view has been somewhat controversial. Many of the users um, have asked for it back. Ableton have yet to decide whether they will bring that back in. As you can see, the back to arrangement button is here in the arrangement view. And if you press that, then those arrows disappear. So I think this is some kind of per track back to arrangement. I think you can choose which tracks will play the arrangement and some will just remain controlled by what you're doing in the session view. So something to clear up, uh, something that obviously Ableton are still developing and uh, I'm sure that they will listen to the feedback of their users. Now, going back to what I was going to quickly demonstrate. Um, now say you've recorded in your little bit of arrangement and you do various automation and uh, you want to then bring it back into your session view as clips. You can now do that. You can um, highlight a selection here and you can either right click or you can go to create consolidate time to new scene and clicking that you go back into your session view and there it has taken that segment of time for each of your tracks and created some new clips for you. So you can further experiment with your clips in session view. And that pretty much wraps it up. Um, this has been Kirk DiGiorgio for Sonic Academy showing you around the new features of Ableton Live 9.